Dr. Caitlin Jordan. I'm the optometrist at the Brooks Rehabilitation Center for Low Vision. Um, a lot of times the first question we get is, what is low vision? And really the answer to it is fairly simple. It's a loss or a decrease in vision that affects someone functionally. So a loss of vision that impacts the ability to do daily activities, for example, reading, working, driving, um, anything you might do on a daily basis and that we can't unfortunately correct with glasses, contacts, surgery, or medication. So a lot of times we work in conjunction with our um, ophthalmologists, optometrists, neurologists around town where a loss of vision is identified and we are now faced with, okay, what can we do to help a person compensate so that they're able to maintain their independence and continue to do their daily activities? So when somebody comes to see us, typically the first thing that we're gonna do is get a good idea of how that change in vision is affecting their daily activities and anything else that might be going on in their health that might also affect what we can do to help them see better. So somebody who has a trimmer, that's gonna affect whether or not we can use a magnifier. Somebody who has um, certain neurological disorders might have trouble learning to use some of the new devices. So we kinda wanna get a really good picture of the whole person and how their vision is impacting them. And then we start looking at maybe a more detailed version of an eye exam where we really assess their vision functionally. What is their acuity? Is there a decrease in contrast sensitivity? What does their peripheral or their side vision look like? And then start coming up with a plan of what type of tools might help them or what type of strategies might help them with the activities that we identified back at the beginning. Um, sometimes it's as simple as just a new pair of glasses, a really strong pair of reading glasses. Sometimes we, we go a little bit beyond that with magnifiers or telescopes, and sometimes it's, it gets fairly comprehensive and we have to use technology, optics, and training. Um, we work as a multidisciplinary team, and so there are uh, specially trained occupational therapists who also um, specialize in vision rehabilitation and they help train our patients with these devices and tools and help get them specifically working on those activities so that we can we can achieve our goal. Um, sometimes we'll also work with um, speech therapy and physical therapy as well because these uh, vision problems can affect their rehabilitation in general, especially when we're talking about um, some of the neurological disorders that might cause uh, vision changes like a stroke or Parkinson's disease, those sort of things. If you have additional questions or would like additional information, please contact us.